And as expected, not long after the major update dropped, Gaijin has released the preliminary notes to the upcoming battle rating changes, and this is going to surprise you at the same time, it's not really, it's kind of a 50-50 toss-up almost. I'll get more into details about this a little bit later in the video. But before we begin, as always, I have to drop this disclaimer because everything I'll be talking about is entirely subject to change. They might go ahead with some of these BR changes, they might take some things out, they might introduce some brand new vehicles, and I will do my best to remain as unbiased as I possibly can because, let's be real here, there's some things in here I'm going to disagree with, I will give my opinions on that, but again, I will try to remain as neutral as I can possibly be, although it might slip up just a little bit. And let's be real here, some of these changes, you may not like them. Maybe you will, but who knows. And one more thing, if you don't like these changes, let them know. Go to the forums, introduce your own opinion into this, and maybe they'll read into it. Maybe if it gets enough traction, they'll actually do it, because Gaijin is far more open than they ever have been ever since the boycott that happened a couple of months ago. So, with all that being said, let's dive right into it. Now, let's read this out really quick, because I think this is a very important part that a lot of us are probably going to overlook. A summary of some of the key changes, several mid-tier World War II vehicles will also have their battle ratings increased. Again, I will outline this a little bit later in the video. Several attack helicopters will also have their battle ratings increased, specifically ones that are able to carry long-range air-to-ground missiles. This is important, so keep that in mind. This is to help ensure that they do not face vehicles that have no counter to them in battles. Multiple lower tiered aircraft are also seeing decreases. Some destroyers, cruisers, and battleships are also increasing in the battle rating. Now, I did forget to warn you guys at the beginning, I will not be doing much aviation, and I will, well, except for the helicopters, of course, and I will not be doing naval to any degree. I'm sorry to my naval players, no insult to you. I've been playing a lot myself, but it's just not my type of content. Now this one's important, and we're gonna start off with the list right here in the front page, which again, I'll have a link to all this in the description below if you want to check it out directly. This is one that I don't agree with. The ZTZ 59D1, the uh, thermal imager will be changed to regular night vision, and the gun stabilizer will be changed from a two plane to a single plane, which means that no more pivoting and having accurate shots. It'll still be stabilized, but the moment you twist the tank a little bit or turn it, it's going to, uh, well, it's not going to be stabilized kind of like how we have with the regular 59 just this is going to be worse off but gaijin is thankfully going to move be moving this down from 8.7 to 8.3 which is something that i very much agreed with when it comes to the other vehicles shrapnel shells being removed that's fine i guess the amx 50 to 9930 it's getting a buff from 6.7 seconds to 4 seconds and the char 25t same thing which means that you're going to be firing very quick with these vehicles, and this is effectively a good buff. Oh, and they did mention uh, we read all the feedback regarding battle ratings. Again, what I just said earlier, go down to the forums and express your opinions. Cool, awesome, but let's go over to the uh, big list. So let's start off with the, uh, let's say the SU-122. 2.7, right? Now, this is all low-tier stuff. I'm not going to go too far into detail about it, but here is where I want to really get into it, right? No arcade values. I won't be playing with those, unfortunately. But if we jump down all the way to battle rating 5.7, this is very important. The Tiger H1 and the Tiger Animal is moving from battle rating 5.3 to 5.7. That, I understand. 5.7 is a good area for it. But here's where things get a lot worse. The Tiger E, the heavy tank number six, are both moving up to battle rating 6.0, which means that this thing is now going to, I think, fight the IS-3. That's at 7.0, right? I don't remember that off the top of my head, so help me out here. And also, we have the Panther G all the way, well, pretty much all the Panthers, moving up from 5.7 to 6.0. Same thing. So effectively, 5.7 is dead for the Germans. I'm really sorry to say, guys, uh, when it comes to the Russians, we have the uh, the TV, of course, another Panther, same thing. I is two, uh, all of them going up from 6.0 to 6.3. The M41s going up to 6.3. And then we have the IS-2s, the, uh, the bigger ones, 1944s, 321, Revenge, moving up from 6.3 to 6.7. And this spans all the way to the Tiger II Porsche to 6.7. The uh, German M41 to 6.7, which I agree and then the M26 is up to battle rating 6.7 from 6.3. 
That's kind of a big change up in my opinion. That's a huge dramatic increase that is gonna allow these vehicles to fight the new 7-7 environment. So effectively, World War II, which recently got a decompression, or sort of away from the Cold War vehicles, has now been effectively recompressed, although we did see an increase in battle rating for aviation from 12.0 to 12.3, tanks remain at 11.7 which i will imagine they will move up to 12.0 at some point which means that these vehicles maybe will just see some sort of increase in the very near future so i'm gonna go ahead and skip a couple of these vehicles right here as we did outline them at the very beginning with the first stage ammo stowage ammo rack reload time being reduced from six seven to four seconds etc uh let's see here the type 87 rcv is going up to 90 I don't agree with that personally, but at least we have the ZTZ 5091 and the ZT3A2 going down to battery 8.3, which is completely fine, I think. And then next up, we have the ZTZ 88A and the B, as well as the 692G, the Type 89, all going up to battery rating 9.0, which means that have fun fighting those 10 O's with the ZTZ 88. They're good vehicles. They're fun. If you want to see the videos on those, I do have on the channel uh, link up in the card up here. If I can set that up or just browse my channel, you'll find it. I promise my thumbnails are pretty, uh, I won't say unique per se, but they're pretty me. That makes sense. <laughs> and then we have the type 89 as well as the type 16 P and the FPS. But I want to put an emphasis on the type 89 battle rating 9.0 from 8.7 Gaijin. You guys are killing this thing. You nerfed it to hell and back, right? You took away the extra crew. You nerfed the vertical targeting speed. You nerfed the horizontal guidance or the speed for it. You nerfed the missiles being able to traverse as quickly as they used to. And you made the APDS a little bit worse. Just guys, just stop touching this thing. Really, I swear, since it first came out to now, it is almost a completely different vehicle that I wouldn't say sucks per se, but it is not in a good position. The Type 16s, Makes sense. 9.3, I get it. And then we have these Centauros as well as the Type 16, the VBCI2, and the VRCC going up from 9.0 to 9.3, and 9.3 to 9.7 effectively, which means that the VRCC is 9.7. I mean, it's a good vehicle overall, don't get me wrong, but really 9.7 doesn't make the premium status of that really beneficial in my honest opinion, although that's just me. The VBCI2 going up I kind of agree with that, although it's kind of the same boat right now as, say, the uh, KF-41. Is it the 51 or 41? It, you know what I'm talking about, the Italian Puma, pretty much. It sucks, but this one, for some reason, is really good. It has a lot to do with the dead space, the uh, crewless turret. It's just a better vehicle overall, which makes a lot of sense to move this up to battle rating 9.7. And last, but most certainly not least, this, I don't know why they move this up, but they just, they're all over the place with it, right? The LVR BV701, which is a very good sleeper of an anti-air SAM system from 10.0 to 9.3. Now, when this thing first came out, it was battling 9.0 and it was a sleeper. This thing was mean. And I hope to see it be equally as mean as it used to be now at 9.3, which is a good area for the Swedish, at least in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the next bit, which I decided to save the best for last, the helicopters, this is where things will be getting very interesting. I don't want you to see this list for what there is, but instead for what there isn't. Now, let's go over this really quick. Z9WA going up to 10.7. Everything you see right here in red is just going up in BR, right? The CBT, the International T129, the Lynx, all the Apaches, the Zulu, the Rui Falk are all going up from 10.7 to 11.0, 11 to 11.3, and then 11.3 to 11.7. But there's a couple of things here you're not seeing. Where's the KA-50, which still sits at battle rating 11.0? And let's be honest here. That helicopter is broken. I'm not even gonna say that's an opinion. I think as a matter of fact, that helicopter can deal with everything. Although you don't get thermal sights, in truth, you don't really need it with how render works at distance with those helicopters. And you also have the ability to engage any aircraft that flies in the sky from fixed wing, the props, I guess, same thing, to other helicopters. If they see you, that Vicar missile is gonna get you. But as someone who plays top tier almost exclusively, this is kind of frustrating to see. Helicopters are the bane of top tier. In fact, so much so, they made it so that I don't enjoy sim as much as I used to. And yes, I do play them myself, but I'm not blind to the fact that these vehicles can be very overbearing. And seeing some of them missing, 
Well, that kind of brings a lot into question of whether or not Gaijin is truly balancing helicopters for the sake of balance. But then again, I guess it makes sense to move up every single top tier helicopter to a higher BR so as to decompress the lower ones. And seeing that the Russians already sit at 11.7, I guess it makes a lot of sense to bring them up to it. Although, in my opinion, they don't really match up as well as they should against said helicopters. But that's it. That's all there is for when it comes to these battle rating changes. And I want to know what you guys think about them. Let me know either down in the comment section, either my Discord, or maybe, or more importantly, actually, in the actual forums themselves. Seriously, if you don't agree with these changes, if you want to see something's added, go to the forums. Let them know. Maybe they'll ignore you. Maybe they won't. You know what? At least you can say you tried to say something to get something through to balance out your gameplay experience, but you'd be surprised how many players don't play top tier, so a lot of this won't even be affecting you too much. But then again, I still want to know your opinion, and while you're swinging on down there, don't forget to check out my links either over to my uh, streams, as well as my 3% discount. You know the whole spiel from that. If you're a regular on the channel, if you don't, well, I have a discount link. Now you know. Save some money and get me paid. Cool, awesome. Anyways. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this Talking Head video, and I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but most certainly in the next release I have planned that may not be War Thunder related. No promises. See you next time.